Okay, everyone. So, hi, I'm Miss Colleen Carol Leslie Torres, and welcome to Gender and Development. So, so, this morning we are going to discuss about lesson one and two, and these lessons are gender and sex and gender concepts. So, for lesson one, let's get to it. Have you ever felt discriminated because of your gender? You might have gone through experiences wherein somebody else treated you differently because you were a guy or a girl, or if you are uh, LGBT because you are LGBT. So thinking of experiences related to this, We can refer to several instances in life. No, nga makakuanta nga ka ng perhaps nakaagita o um, kinibitong lahi nga treatment. No? So that is essentially one, um, one common experience of uh, that, that is being studied in gender. So if you can allow me to share my slide, for example, so for example, well, the photo is a bit um, pixelated, but the picture shows a group of men no? and then a woman, uh, a sole woman in the picture. So I wanted to show this photo because um, I wanted to depict how in this in decision making processes no uh, during or rather in decision making processes let's say on the level of politics uh, most decisions in politics most people who are in politics are government leaders are often male and even in our school or rather in the societal level in the local level if you see a woman leading a city, or if that woman is single, if that woman is not married, or if she is essentially very work-oriented, something somewhat you would say that that woman is acting more like a guy than a girl because she is very career-oriented. I'm actually referring to my own personal experience, everyone, <laughs> because... Um, I wanted to like make it more personal. So on my side being, I have been a founder of several or, several organizations on poverty and um, I often take leadership roles in, um, yeah, in organizations. I see that I am often the, the sole woman. I'm often the, the sole young person. No, kani bitong gamay ra ang babae nga nasa leadership roles. Nya us isa pa kay naapoy kanang tendency nga ang mga batan-on gamay ra pod na ang nga ga participate because kanang dominated ang leadership role sa mga elder or rather older adults no so in that sense in this experience or that still holds true for even majority of countries today are led by men no and you might not think that it's an issue, but actually later on, we're going to see how important it is for, for all genders, not just women, okay, but also even the LGBT community, how important it is for them to be represented in society more. We're not also castrating men because they are leading, they, they have uh, throughout human history, men have always been at the helm of leadership. We're not castrating men at all. But what we're saying is that development can really happen if everybody has, or, or if everybody is given the, is given equal opportunity to reach their fullest potential, whatever gender they are. So that is basically the view of our lesson for today. Um, we are going to just dis have a an introduction, basically, to gender, no, gender concepts as well as gender and sex. So I hope you guys are 
going to find this useful and enlightening. <laughs> All right. So in that sense, let's now proceed to, I'm actually already using our textbook in this uh, lecture. So uh, of course, this is our book. <laughs> All right, Gender and Society by Duman Lag et al. Right now, guys, if you have a piece of paper, I would like you to get a piece of paper and take down notes no, of all of the points that I will raise this morning. Uh, considering that I don't think everybody has a copy of the book, so please just take note of the definitions that I will give. I will also post my PowerPoint in our classroom so that you can follow and then your output for the day or our activity will be based from your notes basically. However, if you have a, a copy of the text already, you can use the textbook to answer the activity for the day, which will be an assignment for this section. All right, awesome. So um, let's proceed to lesson one. So let's talk about <laughs> Mura siya katong kanta no kung familiar mo anang kanta nga gikanta na siya sa gli kung galantaw mo og gli sa una anang ang, ang kanta kay nang let's talk about sex <laughs> so mura siya per dili kana nga type of term ang ato ang gamiton dili kana nga term no pero more on katong term lang sa koan sa nga biological i think na mention nam siguro na for whether or not mention na ko last meeting so kaning kana siya nga term biological ha dili katong copulation nga term so let's proceed now what is gender and what is sex na no? because sometimes we interchange those two terms when we say that um yeah often we say uh, um gender studies so gender studies is that um, ang imuhang gender kay no or imuhang sex kay di ba kaning sa form kung mag-answer ta og form sa kuan sa um unsa may mga form nga gina-answer ninyo let's say enrollment sa liceo and naay naay kaning field didto nga nakasulat kay sex so unsa nga no dili gender ang gisulat didto no kay sometimes isulat sa form kay gender so unsa i diferensya sa duha or unsa nakalahi sa duha so let's start with this term because this is more uh, technical no so sex refers to categories that people are assigned to at birth based on reproductive characteristics so there are only two sexes technically we have the male and the female so these are our biological um concepts no so um sex is is determined through one's chromosomes when they were conceived no? so um every person only belongs to only only two sexes the male and the female now in terms of chromosomes the xx chromosome refers to if a if a baby is conceived with xx chromosomes that equates to female no? Uh, on the other hand, if a baby or, or if the fetus no, is conceived with the XY chromosome, that equates to this baby becoming male because the XY chromosome is the male, um, sort of like the, the um, formula, <laughs> if you will, for male. And we can refer a very famous example if you have watched the series Kyle XY. So, lalaki si Kyle muna kanang XY ang yang chromosomes, no? Pero kung Kylie to siya, <laughs> joke lang guys, no? Pero kanang kung familiar ta kang, syempre kanang mga artista na to, no? Nga mga idols sa Instagram, <laughs> si Kylie Jenner, <laughs> joke lang. Pero kung Kylie to, Kylie XX, nga naman, kay babae man siya, no? So, ana lang. So, that's for um, sex, na. No? Let's go to the other term or the next term, gender. Now, I'll show you a photo and kindly tell me if, obviously, there might be a, a bit of a... Dili na kayo ni maso, di mo ma-surprise kay kanin ipakita naman sa inyo ha, diritso. Pero, 
kuan lang, nalang ko'y pangota na sa inyo about earning a picture. So, this. Do you see a girl or a boy? Anyone? Okay, so looking at this photo, we might say that this that this uh, child is a girl, obviously, because she has, or this child has long hair, bangs, is wear, wearing a frilly skirt, or rather a frilly dress, and then a frilly hat with Mary Jane's for her shoes, and, or sorry, not her, Mary Jane's for shoes and socks that are white, that are typically attributed to um, characteristics of females. However, um, news flash or more of it talk. Kining, I think more naman siya dili. Wala na surprise factor no. Pero lalaki niya class. So this child is actually a boy. Back in the 1840s. So in the 1840s, the fashion of children were often interchanged, no? especially if they were still children. So, but. Please take note that this, this particular child is not just any child, but this was actually Franklin Roosevelt, former president of the United States, when he was still a young boy. So, what is gender in that sense? No? Um, if we say that sex refers to the biological explanation, what is gender on the other hand? Now, gender is a socially constructive, constructed characteristic or a socially correct um, constructed definition of what makes a male a male and a female a female. So by definition, gender are socially constructed characteristics of a male person and a female person. Uh, this means that society, society often constructs what makes a, a male a guy a guy and then a girl a girl. So there are many cultures worldwide wherein, I'll just uh, close the PowerPoint. So as I was saying, gender. So there are many different cultures, different countries have varying definitions or, or conceptions of femininity and masculinity. So for example, in in American dominated societies or American influenced societies such as the Philippines and in the West or, or worldwide, generally the accepted um, the accepted characteristic of a woman is for her to, in terms of fashion, no? only women can wear skirts, right? Kung kita naglalaki nga magsayal, masulot sa liseo, nagsayal siya, weird siya, no? Dili na siya ka ng... Mura bit ako kini kung kung kano bitong straight pagit kaya ng lalaki na mga kanang gang mga pranksters lugar or mga vloggers na kana mga kana mga comedy ang ilang content sa YouTube niya ilang baton kaya magsayo sila pero for for comedy lang siya pero dilik na siya acceptable sa ato ang musulut imong classmate ni nagsayo nagsayo so chang sayo sa liceo sa classroom kaya dilik na siya socially kanang Hindi na siya ang culture, no? Pero na ay mga societies sa uh, lain country nga okay ra nga magsuot og robe nga taas ang lalaki. So, may, what are these um, cultures in China for instance? If you're familiar with the mandarin outfit, no, it is basically like a long dress where men wear a long dress, a robe uh, up to the floor. And it's rather the same in the Middle East. So, in the Middle East Men wear a, uh, a dress, no, or uh, rather a white robe, and they pair it with a uh, turban. So that um, that attire is socially acceptable. And then in African societies as well, it's the same case. So those are just some examples. Um, so the the way that we see gender or how men should behave, how women should behave is actually very much influenced by our society. So therefore, if you if you notice that in your own life, for example, if you are pressured to act a certain way, uh, to, to act more aggressively if you're a man or to be 
beautiful because you're a woman. Why do you think you behave like that? Because in your environment, although it is not exactly overtly told to you or taught to you when you were a child, but there are social factors that influence how you behave. And these social factors, um, yeah, essentially these social factors are what constructs gender. <laughs> no? So, kaning gender na siya nga expectations. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's uh, not, no? Because um, it's good that we expect people to act a certain way because that makes us um, live in a more harmonious um, environment or set up. But sometimes there are people who have different gender expressions who who are saying, kani bito mga trailblazers nga lahi gid sila og um they were created by god in a certain way that they don't exactly conform to societal norms right so that is um th that is what we refer to as gender already now gender on the other hand unlike sex there are many types of gender no there are straight male so we term it as heteronormative no kanang heteronormative mo ni silang mga straight nga maka ma, ma attract sa opposite sex lang so kana for if i'm a woman i am attracted to a man no okay opposite siya sa ko uh, yeah, so that's my gender and well if socially constructed characteristic siya uh, mo na siya ang social norm sa ato ang uh, opposite sex gyud ang kuan accepted na no? quote and quote pero dili naman kay ang sa Philippines man good no murag mas kakita na to nga uh, open man ang Philippines compared sa uban countries um in terms of sexuality so that's it um now going to let's yeah so that's heteronormative there are also obviously the lgbt lesbian gay bisexual transgender asexual plus plus so kung ano siya LGBTQIA plus plus intersex pod apil na so kani kay um, we have um, individuals who are homosexuals no or we have homosexuality this refers to people who are attracted to the same sex so if I am a lesbian woman I like women too if ever but I'm but um, I'm not going to talk about my sexuality but <laughs> but in in a way, ingana siya. So now um, that is gender essentially. So if ang sex kay female male ragyod and gender kay pwede siya uh, pila naman na siya kanang male heteronormative male heteronormative female homosexual man homosexual woman bisexual ganon sa dua transgender no so six basically mga six to seven genders so ingana. So let's now go to um, conceptions, theoretical perspectives on gender and family. So in this part, all right. So in this section, we will learn about some explanations about why the family is structured in a certain way. So the family, our, the, I don't know, the structure of the family is composed of a father, a mother, and then children. So that is what we call the nuclear family or the nuclear, yeah, I think nucleus of the family. That's the term. And considering that, why are societies structured with, uh, in that manner? Na ano man nga ang mga society ever since sa, sa time sa kuan sa I guess sa hunter gatherer bands mga few thousand years na ten thousand years BC ano the structure man tayong ang anak ta kay ang uban mammals dili man ang anak ang ilang structure sa ilahang sa ilahang kanang how Mam other mammals structure themselves. Nayuban mammals like um, among apes, no? Naisa ka male, 
niya dagan babae so murag har harem they call it a harem onya but, but we are comparing it to other biological species because we are also part of this biological world no so dili na to is separate atong pagulingon anin kuan kaysa anthropology anthrop in the anthropological um understanding often anthropologists and sociologists also study other mammals no and what differs what does man or why do, do people be, how are people different no so kani sa uban nga mga species kay mag naay ka nang ingana ang ilang setup nga um naay ano naay isa ka ano lang isa ka male and nya daghan babae nya daghan din anak no and then in other species such as let's say especially among amphibians uh, they only the male and the female only meet during mating season and then it's basically just either the male's job or the female's job to raise the, the eggs now that will be um, um, born or rather kanibitong mga mag mag bore og eggs ang female so ika isa ra sila magkita more ra okay kita ta karon niya pag human kay kanang ang babae na din bahala sa sa embryo niya kani pag embryo kay sila ra pud bahala mo grow up sila kagulingon kay uban nga mga amphibians like frogs no nga ila lang na siya i, I, I I anak pa na nila ang eggs then ibiyaan na din na nila ni ang kanin na mga egg mga kining ang um, mahatch na din nga mga frogs nga, nga baby frogs sila na din mag magkuan mag bahala silang kinaboy no pag pag muhatch sila but it's the same with turtles na so nga naman nga ang, ang mga tao kay ko nang maggrupo kita sige nga kani hindi pwede nga biyaan na ng bata o anak na dinay sa pwede kay ko man ang atong species lahi no so talking about um, gender and family and here's the thing as well today nowadays especially in America no there are already changes in how the family is organized especially with their culture and their in the in the way that their I'm just discussing about these things now but yeah especially with with their culture and how their policies allow for families to have a different setup like with divorce and all so with that is that yes with that um nga no man nga ang ato ang accepted gyud nga nga kanang paagi sa pagform sa family kay kanig nucleus family that we really just uh, want that norm to stay okay because we do accept that there are some families that are not um organized or structured the same as nucleus nuclear families na because there are some families that are single parent households na ilang mama lang or ilang papa lang ang ga raise sila ha also there are families that are OFW families wherein one of their parents are abroad so they grow up without their parents I'm not sure if some of you are uh, apply or some of that applies to you so uh, in addition there are also at least in America no, or in the West there are also same-sex marriage families wherein there are two um, men or there are two fathers and two mothers and then they create they have a baby through surrogacy or artificial insemination so that's another uh, that's uh, another setup of family and dagan kayo especially um there are many circles notably the christian church or even other religions they would highly criticize that set up because they believe that it's an abomination it is sinful no um but do you think that these religions are only trying to like stick by the norms because functionally there is a function to the nuclear family one function would be reproduction no nga dili na to na sila ipagpares ang duha ka same sex kay dili sila makaproduce og bata the same way nga makaproduce ang father and mother woman and man no so kana ang kanang mga mga ano mga conversations about it so 
I hope dili ra kay mo ma mind blown bitay nga mga concepts guys let's just take it easy kung kana medyo kung medyo extreme ang mga ma discuss diri ayo lang sa kini new series so as stress to rear man put ni nato dili magid kini siya kuan kanang um para lang na murag ma delve deep kay anak magid na basta nasa university no your professors will discuss about deeper concepts but don't take it too seriously as well this is these are just for the sake of education na so in that sense as, as I was saying, the family, um, yeah, so in a way, we can really say that um, that um, there are varying perspectives on gender and family. So let's look at these perspectives, as you have seen here in our screen. We have functionalist, Marxist, and Marxist feminist. <clears throat> so for functionalists, no? referring to the textbook, functionalists, it is assumed that the traditional nuclear family is a natural unit and exists to maintain social order and it is mutually beneficial to all. So, so for the functionalists, this is also what I was saying earlier, uh, that there is a function to the family and we should not change that setup. That is what functionalists believe. For Marxists, on the other hand, if you're familiar with Karl Marx, his ideology centers more on the relationships between capitalists and the working class. And um, for Marxists, they believe that the nuclear family is valued over the typical working class extended family to encourage material aspirations. Basically, Marxists say that they want to keep this nuclear family set up because this this working class family will serve the demands of the capitalists or mga, or these dominant um, circles in society. The, the circles that often gain more no, in society. Whereas Marxist feminists believe that the nuclear family benefits the powerful at the expense of the working class and women's domestic labor enables the future workforce to be raised at little cost to the patriarchal capitalist community, meaning that in this setup of the nuclear family, they they prefer for Marxist feminists, they prefer for this norm to, to still continue because the cheap labor that they can get from uh, keeping women in an inferior position, the cheap um, labor that they can get can, can help them in, in their in their capitalist um, ventures, no? Kung cheap ang imong labor, kaya mura nang giretain na nga, nga nuclear family, then mas maayon na siya kaya ka nang gamay ra kong bayran para sa kong mga tao, dili na kong magastuan. So dapat i-keep ginato ni nga norm kaya kung mausab na siya, mas dako na kong bayran para sa kong mga trabahante niya, di na siya maayon para sa kong, ah, that's uh, Marxist feminism. So, um, yes. I hope you're still following, guys. <laughs> so let's now proceed to that's basically all for lesson one gender and sex. I hope that at this point we are already able to list down the characteristics of gender and the characteristics of sex, what makes those two different. So um, now let's now proceed to the second lesson, which is gender concepts. So we will be going through about seven gender concepts right now namely the following when we say gender equality it, it entails the concept that all human beings are free to develop their personal abilities so if a person wants to become mayor for example so nakai pangarap nga may mong mayor mayor or may mong president sa inyong school yeah but uh, let's say that person is gay or lesbian na. lesbian siya Pero gusto siya, nagi siya capacity nga mag-lead sa student government, mag-lead sa, may, sa, may, sa government, no, sa, in politics. Pero they have a, a different sexual orientation, which is um, they like women. So gender equality is the idea that that woman, that lesbian woman, can have the opportunity to... that Yeah, that young woman can have the opportunity or the freedom that... Uh, woman will have the freedom to develop 
her personal abilities or na may uban lesbians na nga gusto sila nga lalaki ang itawag sila but whatever nga pronoun let's say that in gender equality every person has the freedom to develop their personal abilities and make choices so if they have an ability to lead then they can do it regardless of whatever sexual orientation they have regardless if they're a woman they can um they have the freedom to develop their potential and they will not be limited by stereotypes rigid gender roles and prejudices these individuals will not be limited or um in a place or in a society that has gender equality every gender has has the will not be limited by gender stereotypes so let's say in the future in the next 10 years that is the the remaining period where we are, we will be able to achieve the UN sustainable development goals and the UN SDGs really say or really aim for gender equality hopefully in the next 10 years the philippines kagandior city and with your um work no because in our gender project for the semester we are going to implement projects that will help in the realization of gender equality in our university or whether that be in our university or in Kagendiora while staying at home so um, hopefully in the next 10 years we will we will see a society wherein women at the lgbt and men we should not also leave leave out men even though some structures are patriarchal but men should also have the freedom to realize their potential because there are also some men that get get stereotyped or discriminated because they are in a female dominated um field no for example let's say in teaching more male teachers in elementary schools more male teachers in high schools not not just for for kind of male subjects but what if na ilalaki nga magtudlog gender no so okay ra gyud basta ganahan lang gyud niya yan ang passion no why not or if there are males who straight guys na straight guys who are in fashion straight guys who are in in beauty in cosmetology no but they are straight so if they really like that then they should have the freedom to do that without being limited by by stereotypes by gender roles by prejudice so that's the idea of gender equality so at this point no i know that that, that might seem like a very uncomfortable thing as well murag uncomfortable sad siguro sa to ato degree nga ma change na ang ato ang ato ang naandan nga naandan ta nga only might na itabo niya karon sige suddenly hello ko sa gender equality oi kana mudawat na lang lugar ko mura beto dili ko gusto so <laughs> base na ay degree sa to ang maka maka feel ta ana but we are, we will come to the to a concept called gender sensitivity later on so um being sensitive being gender sensitive is an important value that we want to hone among young people no so that we ourselves will respect other genders dili man bot pasabot ngay ana sila ni amo lang lugar na ang buong pagkatao nila nga ilaha lang yung gender ang ilang pagkatao dagan man aspect sa tao dili lang yang sexual orientation I may mga tao nga buutan kaayo mas may nalan na sila kaysa ni mga straight lagi pero walay batasan <laughs> sorry everyone sa akong term no may pag dito na lang kasama ng buutan nga, nga lahi og gender sexual orientation <laughs> anyway so that's gender equality how about gender equity um gender equity means fairness of treatment for women and men according to their respective needs so let's liken it to to um three people no standing looking over a stadium a basketball stadium if you will and these three people have different heights and then if they were looking over a a, a wall no dili tanan sa ilaha ang makakita sa dula sa basketball tungod kay kana ang isa kay dili kaayo taas og height kanila ngin siguro ang taas ang makakita sa dula so ang gender equity is ato ni siyang butang nga hatagan og support ning gamay kay para maka tungtong siya taga nato siya og support para makita siya sa dula no kani po isa so that is gender equity essentially for example if we say that um what would what example would be good 
for instance, if we say that, um, uh, let's say among women no, or in hiring and employment, so gender equity would be policies in a business that wherein that business would prefer to hire persons with disability, for example, or in this case, gender. This business or this company would prefer to hire women and hire uh, lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgenders, because they want to um, give or to support these genders so that they, because they need employment, because they need um, a livelihood, then they are given more support because they are a minority and they have needs. No? Their needs being that they need a livelihood to pay for their daily basic needs. So that is what we call gender equity, that we prioritize some genders because they need more. No? Ganapa sila'y pangailangan nga dili gaka gakahatag sa ilaha tungod kay in minority sila no sa anak nga nga circle so that's gender equity let's now proceed to gender mainstreaming i'll just go through the next few concepts very quickly guys but everything will be in the powerpoint or rather in the book so please do read the book once you have it Gender mainstreaming. Now, gender mainstreaming as a concept was first proposed in 1985 at the Third World Conference on Women. Excuse me. Basically, mainstreaming a gender perspective is the process of assessing the implications for women and men of any planned action, including legislation, policies, or programs. This means that in gender mainstreaming, um, yes, this means that in gender mainstreaming, it refers to putting or in all actions of the organization they always um, look at the needs the gender needs of and of all genders now in their company so that's gender mainstreaming in our sense nor in our case an example would be that in politics it would be go good for comelec to actually give to mainstream their election processes nowadays especially with gender equality no, by the UNSDGs it would be good for Comelec to really mainstream the application of of candidates for positions in government in the national or local level so that there would be more representation for women no, in politics so that's gender mainstreaming kanabit ang maghimo gid sulag policy ang ma represented gid ang mga babae kay para Mami in stream get ang mga babae. Next concept is gender violence. So far, we have talked about gender roles, um, gender equality and equity, and then gender mainstreaming. The fourth concept is gender violence. So gender violence is a term used to refer to harm done unto a person or groups of people due to their gender. There are different forms of gender violence. Again. Gender violence refers to harm put on another person because of uh, their sexual orientation. So forms of gender, there are five forms of gender, namely physical violence, sexual violence, psychological violence, economic violence, and technology facilitated gender-based violence. So for forms of gender vi violence, physical violence refers to any act or, or use, sorry, Physical violence refers to any act or use of force to cause physical harm. Another is sexual violence. This refers to any sexual act performed without consent. Third is psychological violence, any act that causes harm to the mind and emotions of a person or groups of people. Fourth is economic violence, any act that causes harm to an individual's productivity. Fifth, technology facilitated gender-based violence, the use of technology to cause harm to an individual because of their gender, like cyberbullying. And then, um, so typically people, if, if for, especially for groups who are used to the norm, no? and then they see another person who is different, now sometimes, people really have a tendency to become violent towards others if they are different. So to a degree, uh, 
that they cause physical harm to others, sexual violence as well, which is quite um, ano, no, kanang usual siya. Maybe because of the, the, the fact na hypersexualized na kayo ang society karon makakita tag because of the internet no dali ra kayo sa tuang uh, makakita og kanang mga dili maayo sa internet so abi day nato nga ang tao kay pwede ra sayo sa yunonog dala tungod kay kakakita nato nga kanang gina, ginahimo sila og sexual object so igamit ra pud nato ang uban no so mura siya sexual violence na siya um psychological violence as well economic kana bitong dili nimo dili nimo tugto nang imo ang asawa nga magtrabaho kay kuan kanang dili lang kagusto nga magtrabaho siya kay ma, ma affected imong imuhang imuhang pride no as a, as a man man let's just give an example kanang bitong sa mga lala, sa mga magtiayon uh, di nila gusto ipatrabaho ilang ilang asawa so ilang asawa kay gasalig lang sa ilaha so that's a uh, an act that causes harm to an individual's productivity dili ga ka productive ang imong asawa kay naras balay unya kung gusto siya magtrabaho mura imo siya gi-qual freedom nga kuan nga magtrabaho so that's economic violence technology facilitated gender based violence the use of technology to cause harm to an individual because of their gender yeah technology facilitated gender based violence let's go to the next concept the fifth concept is gender stereotypes so gender stereotypes refers to um a, a widely accepted judgment or bias about a person or group so again a widely accepted judgment or bias about a person or group so when we say stereotype this refers to a judgment that everybody accepts as the norm so for example let's t let's talk about spinsters now kani mga single ladies nga natigulang sila wala sila na asawa so we stereotype women as being as as there is a stereotype wherein we judge single women who are in their 40s and 50s who are still single as maybe kanibitong dili sila accepted kay tungod kay single blessed na sila or dili dili ta ganahan nga maparyata sa ilaha kay had look uh, you know di ka maka, wala kay mabana di ka makasal mura siya that's a stereotype that's a gender judgment no? that's a gender stereotype it's a widely accepted judgment or bias about a person or group or another gender stereotype would be that ang babae kay dili pwede may mong president no kay kay ganang wala siya capacity kay kanang weak ang babae no compared kang Duterte for example so that's a gender stereotype gender stereotypes have, have four basic kinds personality traits women are often expected to be accommodating and emotional while men are usually assumed to be self-confident and aggressive second is domestic behavior some people pursue presume that women will cook clean the home and take care of their children while men take care of finances work on the car and do the home repairs so what if the ayang um please know guys no nga ang kana isa pod sa mga teaching sa gender stereotypes or sa gender equality sa UNSDGs is isa sa goals kay kanang equal ang ang kanang trabaho sa babae ug lalaki sa balay so that means nga i-eliminate ko no sa sa ang ato ang goal sa UNSDGs our goal in the UNSDGs is that in the home in the level of the home both men and women do equal do equal chores no or they, they have equal roles in the home so it doesn't mean that that our dads nor the fathers will not wash the dishes because they are guys in gender equality we aim for all genders to do similar tasks oh yeah pwede pud nga ang mama kay mag magkuan magpanday maggamit sa hammer mo magkuan magbutang mag set up og kaning unsay ipanghang din sa balay ang mama ang magbuhat ana or magrepair sa sakyanan ng mama pwede mo na siya ang ato ang gina try og promote sa gender, gender equality especially sa inyong homes hopefully if mahimo na mo ka ng parents no in the future unta nga dili lang nato i, i unta basig pwede nga sa ato ang family sa future kay atong i-implement nga kita mong duha sa imong asawa kay equal mo pwede mo nga magbuhat og ka ng task sa balay pwede ang inyo asawa kay ang bana kay magbantay sa mga bata ni ang mama ang magtrabaho so iya na ang atong gusto mahitabo no para para ma ma practice na siya sa society because dagan og kaning 
dagan og benefits mahitabo ko ang babae kay magtrabaho or uh, hatagan ato og power ang babae so, may, or sa lalaki dagan pud og benefits kung makonektad ang bata sa iyang papa mas dagan siyang time nga mag-spend sa iyang papa kay naay ang papa din ha no sa balay kana unya ang papa pud kay mas dagan og benefits if ano if um hatagan nato og value ang ang fatherhood kay usahay kay kung magdako magpadako og bata ang mama ra gid na trabaho dili dako pud kay og trabaho ang father no sa pagpadako sa children so that's um four gender stereotypes so and then last is occupations for gender stereotypes some people are quick to assume that teachers and nurses are women and that pilots doctors and engineers are men so gender discrimination refers to the unequal treatment in admission or rather gender discrimination refers to a subtle or overt display of unequal treatment in opportunities, benefits, privileges, expectations, and etc. due to attitudes towards a particular sex. So gender discrimination refers again to an overt or subtle display of unequal treatment in opportunities. You did not vote for that person because um, you are treating that person differently because they are gay or they are a, a woman. No, so that is an unequal treat, a form of unequal treatment. Or um, you discriminate a person that you assume that because they are gay, they are they are um, promiscuous. No, so discriminate. Na dili ka musturya. Ano bitong mo rag discrimination siya kay dili ka mustorya. Ano bitong dili ni mo siya tagan ang opportunity nga kanang especially kanang mga mga renters bitaw sa apartment. Dili ni mo siya i-approve sa iya request na mag mag rent sa imong apartment kay lahi iyang gender so di ka gusto nga mo rag na ay immoral nga tawo nga mopuyo sa imong apartment. So gender discrimination na siya dili na siya dapat maitabo or dili dapat nga kanang dili ka mag hire og, og gay person kay kanang tungod kay gay siya that's unequal treatment that's discrimination and then lastly we have gender sensitivity so gender sensitivity refers to recognizing the issues and problems in how society perceives gender and understanding how stereotypes discrimination and gender stereotypes and gender roles adversely affect people the concept of gender sensitivity um, refers to being aware of the of how people think of gender and rely less on traditional assumptions or views on the role of women and men. So when we are gender sensitive, we are aware of how people think of gender and we do not assume or we do not confer to traditional assumptions of the role of women and men. That is being gender sensitive. So if I am gender sensitive, and then I meet a, a woman in power. No, I do not convert to traditional oh, roles of, of, um, of gender. So because of that, dili ko mo confer. So kuan ka nang dili ko mo confer kay gender sensitive man ko. Dili ko ga discriminate sa lain. I do not. Um, I am not violent towards other genders. I am gender sensitive. That is gender sensitivity. And gender sensitivity can equi can be translated in gender sensitive language, being more inclusive when we talk. For example, we avoid using pronouns, especially when we talk to the LGBT. Always ask them what are their pronouns because some transgender men or women they want to be uh, addressed as men if they are lesbian men or transgender men. Kining mga babae nga nag change nag sex change, so or kining Kani mga mga lalaki biological males nga nag sex change na imo nagbabay always ask them kung gusto sila nga her or his ba ilang pronouns that's a, a, and then typically ang rule of thumb is kung ang ilang itsura kay babae ni aklaro nga gay sila pero ang ilahang buhok kay taas nagsanina sila babae always her gid na imo istorya sila dili ka mag him sa ilaha kay or kana offensive na siya Another would be kung lalaki po, kung lesbian gid siya, klaro ka ayo kay gamay ang buhok, kung nilalaki siya magsuot, him gid na mo i-refer sa iya ha. Kung, kung gadwa-dwa ka, pero kung gusto ka nga sure gid kay, mauta na kasaya, unsa yung pronouns. Don't be afraid to ask them what their pronouns are. And then, aside from that, instead of of using, ang ang reason nga no, importante na siya class kay tungod kay number one, when we use 
when we avoid using male oriented terms no kanibi tong mankind or manpower cameraman policeman forefather founding fathers kung mag avoid ta og gamit ana mga lalaki ra kayo nga uh, or rather male centered terms if we avoid that then we we also try to avoid patriarchal structures it's important for us to use gender sensitive language in order to avoid um in public no when talking in order to 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 change patriarchal systems so especially in writing as well so instead of saying man in the street we say people in general so ma all men are created equal dili siya nga na dapat kay all people are created equal mo na siya gender sensitive language dili ta mayon policeman or ganing ang ato ingon kay police officer dili ta mayon forefather or ato ingon kay ancestor di tamo ang ano camera man may ngan tao camera operator kay naman sa camera operator ng babae na and then this is the last part already gender sensitivity gender neutrality so our country actually is very gender neutral na for example in our not country but our language the Filipino language is very gender neutral considering that for example we have sha nia kania are pronouns that are used for both females and males. Siya bitaw kay. Siya bitaw kay kuan ka ng... Bright lagi siya. Pero wala ta nakabalo kung laki barbae, di ba? Yan naman na itong language. Okay. Um, that's all. Any questions? Okay. If none...